54 seconds to go. The uh, crowd has worked its way down Fair Street in both directions and all the way down Howard to the Bay. We're, uh, they are ready to go. Listen to this crowd. You guys ready out there? You're ready. The elite runners, of course, are separated from the mass of the field. The human wall is in place, and with about 10 seconds to go, the human wall will move out of the way and, and let the uh, pack of runners move up towards the, uh, towards the start line. Right now, the, uh, the crowd is moving up from the back, and we're moving down now to 18 seconds. The crowd is going to pick up the chant. We have 13 seconds, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The Vader Breakers is underway. The examiner Vader Breakers, as you can see, is underway. The elite runners get that little start on the rest of the crowd. There's really no other scene and no other race like this. Not the Kentucky Derby, not the Indianapolis 500. And Boston has its marathon, but this is the oldest continuous foot race in America. Back in 1912, there were 121 finishers. In 1963, just 15 finished. And now, as you see, well over 100,000 people are running this race. For safety reasons, we have our motorcycle-mounted cameras. They'll have to keep back uh, from the start of, for about 200, 300 yards. We'll pick them up at about the one-half-mile mark. Now, Rob Dixon, right now, what are the elite runners doing? Basically, they're trying to maintain uh, rhythm and keep together. They, the uh, security in numbers is very, very important at this stage, just in case somebody jumps in from the side of the streets. And uh, what they're doing now is just settling in, getting their rhythms right. They've, been stand they've had to stand on the start line for a good two or three minutes. And uh, I, I think right now is just settling in. And once the half mark comes up, then they'll start to really put the pace on. Seems again from the starting line, oh, we got a brief glimpse of uh, two runners out in front, but they look like people who just jumped in from the side. The lead pack looked like they were about 12 or 15 yards behind them. Rod, you won this race in 82 and 83. One year, you ran this first mile of four minutes and 27 seconds to get away from the crowd. They don't run it quite that fast anymore. Why? Well, I, uh, exactly. When I ran to get away from the crowds because there wasn't too many elite runners in then. But now with the uh, 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 an elite running a group of about 10 to 15, they know now that they can just sit in, sit in together and, 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 and uh, concentrate on running a race rather than getting a fast mile. Safety in that, in that lead pack uh, when they stick together to start. Let's go now to Glenn Cremon with the lead man, 